Sandra from Fit Kitchen Nutrition. Today I want to teach you some ways that you can still enjoy pasta without getting all the carbs and all the wheat that's in typical pasta. So one of my favorite ways is spaghetti squash. So I'm going to teach you how to make a spaghetti squash lasagna using this amazing vegetable right here and even non-believers will be converted. I'm also going to show you zucchini noodles or zoodles as they're called. And a really simple one, I just picked this up at the grocery store. When I am looking for a bit more carbs, say I have cycling the next day, I do need a little bit more carbs. Squash zoodles, squash noodles. And these were $4 for this whole thing, already pre-done for me. Can't get any easier than that. But let's say you do want something a little more pasta-like, something that's actual pasta, not just a vegetable. Uh, my favorite is chickpea pasta. So it comes in both a penne and a uh, curly one, I think it's called fusilli. There's only two ingredients in this pasta, chickpeas and lentils. And it's just dried chickpeas and lentils that have been ground. So that means it's really high in fiber. A serving has about 15 grams of fiber and over 20 grams of protein. So you also don't need as much because you'll be really full just with that. And there is another type of pasta out there. It's called new pasta and it's actually made from the konjac root. So it's already cooked for you. Let me take it out of the package. It looks pretty much like pasta, a little bit more white. The texture is a little more, I'm gonna say slippery than wheat pasta, but there's I think 25 calories in the whole package, no carbs. So you add your favorite sauce to this, you're good to go. Because really, pasta is all about the sauce, isn't it? So as you can see, as I turn it, I'm making nice long zoodles or zucchini noodles, carb free, full of nutrients. Just like the squash noodles that I was showing here, made out of butternut squash, you can buy the zucchini noodles pre-done at the store as well for about four bucks, so that could save you some work. I spent $20 at Walmart and got a spiralizer. I have to admit, I really mostly just use it for making zucchini noodles. Um, you can make sweet potato curly fries out of it as well, but I'll show you how we can make our zucchini pasta. And once you have a bunch of zucchini noodles, you can have them ready to eat in about five minutes. You're literally just gonna put them in a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil, some salt, some pepper, and whatever sauce you like to use. I really love a pesto sauce with my zucchini noodles, and I find I can have, if I'm just cooking lunch for myself, I can get it on the table in like five, six minutes, a really good lunch, and I'll often put some tofu cubes in it as well, just for some protein. You do need a bit of muscle to cut your spaghetti squash in half. If you're really struggling with it, a little tip is to just stab it a few times with the knife and then microwave it just for even a minute or so. So I'm cutting it in half lengthwise because I'm doing the um, lasagna boats with it. But if you cut it in half this way so that you have two kind of round ends, you're actually going to get longer spaghetti strands. So we're going to take a spoon, scoop out all of the insides of the seeds. Now that I've scooped out my seeds, I'm just lightly spraying a little bit of olive oil, putting it upside down, doing them both like that, and it's gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes, or until you can take a fork and just pierce it through the skin easily. So my spaghetti squash came out of the oven, and then I let it cool for about 15 minutes because we're gonna kind of grate it all up with a fork, but it can be pretty hot when it first comes out so that you can hold it, let it just sit for 15 minutes. I know you're excited, we're almost there. So you can see we just use a fork to kind of grate it up. So that I cut my squash lengthwise, which gives shorter strands, but if you cut it the, uh, the short way, you'll end up with really nice long strands. But because we're using this as a bowl for our um, lasagna boats, we want it to look like this. I took some sauce I had made before out of my freezer. It's not even actually fully defrosted, but that's okay, because these are going in the oven. That's what I love about the freezer. Whenever you make something, make a bunch. So I'm putting on, it's a beef tomato sauce. This makes it a complete meal because we're getting our protein and our veggies in one. So you're putting on your sauce and then we're gonna put on our cheese to make it lasagna-y. I love to use lots of Parmesan cheese because 
Parmesan is very high in protein and because it's a stronger taste, we don't need as much cheese. And also it's got a bit of a salty taste, right? So it means we don't have to use as much salt on our food. That being said, I'm still going to use some mozzarella. So I'm still gonna sprinkle on some mozzarella because I want this to look like lasagna so that we don't feel like, ah, oh, we're getting vegetables for dinner. No, we're getting lasagna for dinner. And now it's gonna go in the oven for about 15 minutes, just until the cheese really is melted. My sauce is cold, right? So I'm gonna have to have it in a bit longer, but my squash is still warm and it is gonna be a delicious, hearty, satisfying dinner. So I hope from today you found a few other options to a wheat pasta that you know that you can eat and enjoy. The whole idea of this is we don't have to give up eating with our family or give up eating the foods we truly love. Because when it comes to pasta, it's the sauce that we want, right? So let's make the base a little bit healthier. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to get more great videos and go to my website, Fit Kitchen Diva, and see all the recipes on my blog.